Thank you so much for having, uh, having us here and um, also to Alex for all your help in getting everything set up. So what I'd like to do is to kind of bring the pet industry and the nutraceuticals industry a little bit closer together in the next 10 minutes or less based on the rules of the game. Um, so uh, before I start, or at, I will start by saying that I am a dog food guy. I've been spending the last 21 years of my life trying to learn how to feed dogs better, cats better, improve the quality of animal nutrition, and also create an ethical business framework within the pet products industry that we could be comfortable with. So, now here's where we went wrong. 1956, uh, they invented kibble dog food as a way to release byproducts of the human grain industry and to find an outlet for them. What happened then is we took the canine diet, which was based in meat, a carnivore now became fed as an herbivore. So from the 50s, for the next 30 years, we really went in the wrong direction in the pet food industry, and it's uh, something that really needed strong correction. Uh, so when people tell you, oh, my grandparents' dogs live to be 17, why are we having health problems today? Because our grandparents' dogs probably ate horse meat or meat or table scraps, and we started the heavy-duty commercial dog food feeding in the 50s. The most important thing to realize is that when we're feeding dogs or we're feeding cats, we're feeding carnivores. So if we pay attention to that aspect of the triangle of nutrition and realize that the top has to be meats, fats, proteins, and then downward to carbohydrates, which are the most minimal need for carnivorous animals. So I want to share with you what I feel, it's just my opinion, one guy, uh, feels the good stuff and the bad stuff in the pet industry and pet foods. What I consider to be the bad is products that are very high grain kibble. Uh, products that if you look at the ingredient list, you'll see wheat, wheat gluten meal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to replace that with a high meat product. Uh, secondly, products that are preserved with uh, chemicals like ethoxyquin, BHA, BHT, as opposed to natural antioxidants, such as mixed tocopherols, which companies in this room represent as well. Uh, the other thing is uh, the use of uh, uh, imported ingredients that haven't been put through our food safety system, and that has led to recalls and major, major concerns. So I prefer to use domestic American products for what we make.